Welcome back, Josh and DR. I always say this is one of my favorite questions because we've all had uh, influences in our lives, sometimes for a minute and sometimes for a lifetime. Could you each share um, a couple of people that have been influential in your lives? Um, Josh, you want to start? Yeah, sure. So I would say a couple people probably come to mind of the the long list of people who have had an impact. Um, Richard Branson is one. Uh, it kind of drove me from the beginning to lean into life as being short, work on startups and have fun doing so. Took a lot of advice from him, uh, read a couple of his books and ultimately pushed me to just take uh, take the risk and and start my own thing. Uh, yeah. Second, I would say my my wife has been extremely supportive of me over the years. She can probably hear this, so I have to mention her. No, just kidding. <laughs> it, she, she really has been extremely supportive of me. She's been an entrepreneur herself. Uh, but when you're taking these risks, especially early in your career, like you are, you are basically having someone else support you from, uh, from a financial perspective for a period of time until you, until you figure out your startup and, and things actually start working. So just having that, that person there who I can talk to every day, I can bounce ideas off who I can complain to when things don't go the way I want them to. It's just, it's just incredible. And I probably wouldn't, uh, I probably would have got burnt out from, from the ups and downs of startups years ago, if it weren't for her ongoing support. No, that's, that's brilliant. When we recruit people for startups, especially we use the word thrive because you better be able to thrive, not survive because you won't right. unless you thrive and your spouse or partner better be behind you. Otherwise, sure way too way too hard how about you dr yeah I'll, I'll mention a couple as well the first one um is a mentor of mine who's passed away i know this is a a friend of josh's as well um but he always said to me that uh you know in in terms of work you've got to have the three f's you've got to have a place where it's fun it's financially re rewarding and fulfilling if you have one f you should get the heck out of there. Uh, use more colorful language. Um, uh, if if you get have two of those, yeah. If you have two of those, you're at a decent spot. You know, you could consider a, a you know, is there a different job for you, or is there a better place to be? But it's not terrible. And if you have all three, that that's the goal. That's that's the point of um, switching jobs and continuing to look for for perfection. And I think Josh and I spent a lot of time thinking about how do we bring that to um, our time and, and our employees' time at Elephant. How do we make sure that this is going to be um, first and foremost fun? Long hours are not long hours if they're fun. Yeah. Um, it's got to be financially rewarding. We're doing this to create a big company to have an outsized financial impact for ourselves and our shareholders, which is every one of our employees is a shareholder. And then the third thing is um, it's got to be fulfilling. Um, uh, life's too short, especially uh, post pandemic, to be working on things that that uh, matter less. So um, that that's one. And then the other one is um, Josh mentioned his wife. I'll, I'll mention my uh, my father um, who, you know, I think has gone through a career or, or uh, an emotional transition himself. I think when he was younger, he's trying to keep food on the table for a, uh, you know, me and, and my two brothers, my mom. Um, he, he worked really hard to do that. And then as we sort of graduated college and, and started to leave the home, he really transitioned to his words are, I want to make a dent in the universe. Um, <laughs> how do we, how do we, there, there, there's so many opportunities to just sort of be a passenger in things. And, um, the world's only going to change if, uh, if you have a couple of people who are trying to bend the arc of things. And, um, I really like look up to him for, trying to bend that arc and I've uh, tried to do that myself in, in a small way. Yeah, those are, those are also great. And uh, obviously that must've been in his heart for a long time. He just couldn't activate it. Um, right. Right. All the other stuff was going on. Thanks for sharing that. You know, one thing I find about influencers in talking to a lot of people is um, we should always recognize that whether we know it or not, we're influencing people all the time too. In, yeah. And words and when our what we say our actions and everything so we have a choice positive influence or negative influence at the end of the day and that's up to us so thanks so much for sharing those those are those are really cool thanks yeah thanks mark